Hello everybody and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making earth and wood CBD hemp bars of soap. Uh, it's going to be so good for your skin, relaxing, and um, I just think it's great. The essential oils smell wonderful and here's what I'm using in my essential oil blend. This is going to be an all natural bar with essential oils, natural coloring. We're just going all in with the natural. So. Um, Part of the essential oil blend is going to be uh, cedar leaf, cedar wood, cardamom, fir needles, patchouli, and sandalwood. And I'm also going to add a little clove essential oil to that too. To um, I just feel like it heightens the scent very good. So the sandalwood, that's my wood, and I have some organic sandalwood chips here that I'm going to be sprinkling on the top. I wouldn't put it in the soap. We don't want wood chunks in there, but on top, it's beautiful. It smells it smells great. I use this to make a sandalwood infusion of oil. Um, for my earth part, I have a kaolin clay that's going to go in the bulk of the soap, and I'm also going to use this rasool, I hope I'm saying that right, clay um, as part of my earth. It's going to be one of my um, colorants. Also for colorant, I'm going to use organic turmeric powder, which is a beautiful sort of a orangey brownish color once it saponifies. Um, I'm also using an organic raw cacao powder for a color. Um, organic colloidal oats are going in there again with the kaolin clay and I'm also going to add calendula flower powder. Just bringing in all the natural earth and wood that I can. Uh, so also on top with my sandalwood chips I'm going to do some organic hemp hearts just to keep with the hemp theme. Uh, the CBD oil I'm using, the concentration is, will the mathematically split uh, each bar will have approximately 84 milligrams of a CBD extract oil in each bar. So um, that's the strength on that. And it is a very um, beneficial oil. Uh, I would encourage you to do your research and your homework at, if you don't know about CBD oil and uh, the benefits therein. Also my hemp oil that I'm using, which is different than the CBD extract, this is the hemp seed oil that I'm using. It's unrefined organic from Soper's Choice. Oh, this stuff is wonderful. Just really good um, essential fatty acids. It's moisturizing, it's humectin, it's so many skin benefits and it's in its natural dark color, all the richness. So that's gonna be a nice large portion of oils in this soap also. So I'm going to pull everything together. I have my uh, coconut milk lye solution cooling and uh, get my hard oils melted and cooling. I have all my additives here and we're going to come back and make some earth and wood CBD hemp soap. All right, uh, I have my liquid oils in here, which is um, my organic hemp oil, uh, olive oil and some rice bran oil. And then here I have my hard oils all melted, which is a coconut oil, sustainable organic palm, and cocoa butter. That is all melted. We're going to pour them together here, and I'm going to go ahead and blend in my colloidal oats, um, kale and clay, and calendula flower powder into my oils because I want that in every single bar. And then we will get our coconut milk lye solution in here and split it off for the colors. But first I want to get um, my base additives in to my oils and get it all dispersed in there really well. So here we have the oats, the kale and clay, and the calendula flower powder. We're going to go ahead and just buzz that in and I don't have my glass or my gloves on yet because my lye solution is still off in the corner cooling. As soon as I get that, I'm going to throw my safety gear on here. But right now, we're going to mix that in. So, pardon the noise. <coughs> I've got my coconut milk lye solution here. It does have um, Tessa silk fibers and some sodium lactate in here. Um, and in here I did add my CBD oil. And I'm not showing you the brand I'm using um, simply because 
uh, I want you to do your own homework. You um, do some research. There's really good companies out there, great information on the web. And um, so a lot of research went into which CBD oil I have in here. And, uh, and I'm not brand specific. Um, so anyway, the CBD oil is in here. And I am going to go ahead and pour in my lye, coconut milk lye solution. And I'm going to hand stir it in. Um, because my essential oils do, I did put some clove oil in there, uh, and that is known to accelerate trace. So I'm going to try really hard to just go very slow. And um, so I, I want my colors to be able to be workable. You know, I want to be able to work with them. That's the goal. So I'm going to hand stir this in, and then we will split it off. And uh, after I get the colors mixed in, we'll go ahead and split our essential oils up as the last step. Hopefully keeping everything as fluid as we can. Got my nice slab mold here from Workshop Heritage. All right, just getting this all incorporated. Has all the additives that I want in everything. That's looking pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and split off into my color containers here. And then, of course, we can come back in and stick blend as needed. So I think uh, I'm going to do the turmeric in this one. So I'll just plop that in there, do a nice amount. I have my cacao powder I'll do in this container here. And then my Rasul, Rasul, how do you pronounce it? Clay. I'm going to go in here with that. And I will get out my handy dandy whisks and blend gently to incorporate the color before I go in with my stick blender. If we're even going to use the stick blender, we will see. Man, that cacao smells good. <laughs> I love me some chocolate. It's good. All right, and let me just get this up and blend my clay in here. This is our earth and wood. So I thought the cacao would be the sort of wood color. This is the earth color, and the turmeric is just because it's lovely things that grow on the earth. There we go. That's how we'll say it. All right, I'm going to set this down here and make sure I'm not forgetting anything before we come in with our fragrances. Make sure the colors are where I want them. It's looking good. So here we go. I've got my essential oil blend and we're going to put the majority of it in here. go. Oh, it smells good. Kind of earthy and woodsy, which is just what I was wanting. Go ahead and move this in. And it's not firming up too quickly here, so I may come in and do a little stick blending. Let me get my whisks out. lightest to darkest and stick blend for just a minute and I do have my hanger tool out I'm thinking I'm gonna hang or swirl we'll see all right stick blend here we go and pardon the noise I'm just gonna go from lightest to darkest here
right. Uh, it's a little squishy still in the light soap, but I'm going to go ahead in and do my texturing now with my little whisk flip. Just kind of want random peaks. So, and then I'll go ahead and sprinkle. Man, that's really mushy still. I'll go ahead and sprinkle um, my sandalwood chips and uh, hemp hearts on here. All right, here's our little hemp hearts. And these are wonderful. I put these in my cereal every morning, <laughs> put them in yogurt, they're tasty. Love to eat them. Not just for soap decorating. All right. And there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and Spritz the top of this with rubbing alcohol. I'm going to cover it and let it go through gel phase tonight, and we will come back tomorrow for the cut of our all natural CBD hemp bars, earth and wood. There we go. We'll see you on the flip side. All right, it's the next morning and I'm going to unmold my earth and wood CBD hemp soap this morning. And uh, the cocoa, the cacao powder portion of the swirl got really thick yesterday and I ended up mashing it down with the spatula. So I'm rather anxious to see what it looks like on the inside. But uh, it smells wonderful very earthy and uh, everything that I'd want an earth and wood soap to smell like. We'll get this out of the mold and uh, see how we're doing. And again, I've got the hemp hearts and the sandalwood on top. It just has a really nice, mellow, sort of natural scent. I'm really happy with the smell. I'm hoping and hoping that the inside um, came out okay with that one color getting really firm on me. We will see. We're going to get in here and see what we've got. There we go. Let's get this out of the way and come back. All right, there's the sides. And let's get our soap cutter log splitter over here and get right into this. And there's the inside. It's a little gloppy, but it's kind of groovy. This is earth and wood, so. And I do have, this is interesting, I have some glycerin rivers going on around uh, there. So we did go through gel phase in the middle. The sides are a little light. That will cure out. Let's get this other log split and see what we've got. kind of modely looking. It's cool. It's very different. Let's get this in the cutter and see what the slices look like. So these are really rustic looking, which is kind of cool with the earth and wood theme. 
um, the cacao powder portion of this color got very thick and so I couldn't hang or swirl it and I ended up just sort of poking it with a spatula but um, it actually is kind of cool because you know being the earth and wood theme it's very rustic again this is the CBD and hemp soap and each bar is going to have approximately 84 milligrams of uh, CBD oil in it so you lather up and you get all the wonderful topical benefits of that oil as well as the hemp oil is very good on your skin it's interesting I got some glycerin river rivers this is a very moisturizing bar hemp oil is uh, really good topically on your skin so I'm kind of pleased it's a little funky rustic but um, yeah I'm happy with it <laughs>